Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashus of Rabbi Yom enforced, and we're talking about Hachshas Kedem how to kasha a kli, a vessel that has become not kosher. Minakosiv called Davash Yava Beish Taviro Beish. From the verse that we quoted yesterday, it says anything that passes through fire needs fire. V'cholash Elo Yava Beish. Anything that did not pass through fire, Taviro B'Mayim, you pass it through water. Lamdu Chachmin Zichon Ravacha. Our sages learn out from here. She is Hechshe Beish LeDavash Hashimush Bo Al Yedei Aish. That anything that has been used with fire, any vessels used with fire. Require fire to kasher it. And we use water for those things that were not directly used with fire, as we'll have to see what that means. Therefore, any kli, any vessel that was used with fire, mamish, literally, you can only kasher these vessels. If you have what's called Liban, you have a flame, a fire, of real fire that's going to wipe out whatever not kosher is in there. The Kalish and the Vashnim however, uh, pots, let's call it, that have had uh, liquids boiled inside, the way that you do that is Hagala, you immerse it in boiling water. In boiling water, kalim shenesru ayidei she yistamshu in the meichel tzaynin. And if you have kalim that were used for cold foods, hachshirasam ayidei hadacha b'mayim tzaynin. The way to get rid of that not kosher stuff on there is simply to dip it into cold water, as we shall see. Klal ze mosulan chazal chazal have given us the following principle: kebayloi kach palta. The way. That the non-kosher ingredient was absorbed inside of this vessel, kach polto. That's the way you're going to get it out of there. Ba'ifin shakli ba'leas ha'isa. The way in which the kli, the vessel, absorbed, swallowed up the isa, the prohibited part. Ba'ifin zeh poyle da'es ha'isa. Gam ken. That's the way it will spit it out. So now he says suge hechshe. The different types of koshering elements. Like we said above, there are three types of ways to kasher a, a vessel. There's fire. There's the boiling water. And the dipping into the cold water. They're very different in their essence and in the way you do it. Like we will explain. What does it mean? The flame, the fire. Humasha ish soyref es tama iser. The fire burns out the flavor of iser, a prohibited taste that's in there. Bim kaima bedafne akli. It has to go into the place of the walls of the vessel. She ain't a libun maitzi as a iser. Bim kaima elis sarfusham. The libun, the fire, will not remove the treif that is inside the walls of the kli unless it's actually touching that area of the kli of the vessel. Which means that you'd end up having to, the whole cleave became tray if you have to go through all the walls of this particular vessel to get it out with the fire. Heksha agala, what does it mean? Hagala, the immersing in boiling water. Poyel, shahamayim ha reishim maitsim as tama iser. Boiling water removes the tam iser, the flavor of iser, of, no, of not kosher food. Habalu bechi, that is absorbed in the kli, the seichamayim, it goes into the water. So the waters are boiling, you put the kli inside, the boiling waters pull out the iser, the non kosher taste that's in there, and it goes into the water and it takes it out of the kli. And the last one, hechsha adacha, this that you just dip it into cold water, even nasa, they shift shuf a kli, that comes about through cleaning and immersing the kli into water, vesha shiv shuf. Menakes akli. First, you have to clean the vessel. Mikol lichlo chveshumen isra adavik boy from any dirt and any uh, treif oils that might be on it. Kila hishtamish bechi chamin v'le nivla isra leseich dafne akli. Since you didn't ever use this for uh, hot stuff on this vessel, therefore nothing got absorbed in the walls. Ela nidbak alav. It's just sticking on the outside of the walls of this kli. Therefore, we, we wash it all off. Kolisa adovik, anything that's stuck to it. And afterwards, you immerse it into 
cold waters. We'll stop over here, and Be'ez Hashem, we have much more to see, and we'll continue tomorrow. All the best.